Good morning, I wanted to show you guys my makeup routine. So I already put on my Glorious Face and Eye Primer. You wanna let that sit about five to 10 minutes before then applying your makeup. So I already have that, that on. And then my next step is the BB Flawless and I use the color Bisque. So I just put some right on the back of my hand. And I prefer to apply it with a foundation brush because I feel like I get better coverage. And what I'm gonna do for you guys today is about half of my face so you can kind of see. And if I kind of get up close, you can see that I have some redness here, here, uneven skin tone. And I always really like to blend on my neck. So I just start dabbing. And this, I would put all over my face. you're going to want to let that dry just a little bit before you start putting your powder on um, and what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to use the um, pressed powder in cashmere and I'm going to do right here for a little bit of contouring now with contouring the darker color is the color that you want to kind of um, sink in or be in a shadow if you so will so I have a really round face so I like to um, contour right here, but I don't just do the cheekbones like is um, normal. I kind of do this whole strip right here. And then I also take it down onto my chin and I contour darker right here so that my double chin and all of this kind of goes back and away. So we're still a little bit wet. And I also contour right up here a little bit too. So I'll show you that. Um, and then my all over color is taffeta. So after I do, um, all of my contouring and all of that good stuff then I use the taffeta and for my lighter color so right under here um, you know on the nose on the chin right here um, I use velour and then my brush of choice for this is I use the blusher brush because it has the angle oh can you see it it's angled when you're putting the powder on you don't want to streak it um, you want to kind of pat pat because streaking can um, take off some of the things underneath too so I am gonna find my cheekbone mm. and I'm just gonna start putting this right there see how I'm just kinda pat 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 you want to come down to about the middle of your pupil but most people would stop with dark right there, but since I kind of want to fix a little bit of this roundness, I keep going. And I'm going to take this color on down under my chin. I go about right here with dark and back because I have a double chin here. Okay, um, I also like to do just a little bit right here since my face is a little bit round. Um, almost up into the hairline is where I do it. And I just kind of get down and dirty with it. Bring it a little bit down here just to blend it a little bit. Bring it all together. It's a little hard to see here. I'm sitting outside um, on my porch. Okay, um, and then let's do a little bit light. Finding my stuff. Thought I had it set up. So I'm using the um, velour in the cream foundation, and I'm gonna go right under my eyes and down in a triangle. You see this right here? This triangle? 
you want to conceal in a triangle. And I always put some up here too. I am going to do um, eyeshadow in a little bit, but I really like this as a little bit of a base. Alright, so straight down, up like that. Um, and I usually kind of just, I come over a little further because I have some extra redness there. And then I'm going to do all in this area right here. Wait, I'm doing half face, I forgot. You can use the sponge that it comes with, but I'm a big um, brush girl. I love brushes. So I prefer to use a brush. And if you get it on your lips, that's okay. You can clean it up later. See that? How I'm getting that kind of a way? And I always like to make sure my chin is lighter so that it's going to stick out a little more while I'm trying to hide this. And then I always do... My nose is a little long right here, so I kind of like to do darker on the tip of my nose to kind of, you know, hide it a little bit. But I am going to do some light right down the middle. And then you just want to fan it right on up. So if you had a crooked nose, you could straighten it out a little bit if you wanted to. Okay. Um, I'm going to use some bronzer here. I like a combination of blush and bronzer for the next step right there. Um, if I'm using a bronzer in place of a brush, I a blush, I use Hermosa because it has a little bit of a pink tint to it. So let me get my other brush here. And I'm going to kind of mix Hermosa with my favorite blush, Sweet. So some of this. I like to mix them. I literally I have both right here on my brush. And I'm going to kind of start right on top of that contouring and then kind of go up a little bit because that's already going to start a little bit of the blending. Hello, mama. I think we got too much. That's okay. We'll fix it. And then I really like um, some shimmer right here because shimmer is going to draw light to it and I kind of want this part to stick out right here. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of, um, apparently I have too much makeup. Can't decide what's what. I'm going to use sunset, just a little bit of sunset. And then I'm going to show you one more trick. One of my most favorite things ever, because I love that shimmer, is I use the Curious Eye Pigment. Um, let me show you on the back of my hand. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? It's really just almost sparkles. You would, I use it as like my, um, my brow color. I'm just going to put a little bit right there. Don't worry, we'll bend it, blend it all later. And then, um, I'm going to do my taffeta powder all over. Um, I do dab it all over, but then I really use it in areas that I need to, um, get blended. So, I don't know why I do it this way, I just do. And I really like to get it up on the side of my nose here. And right here on the end. Okay. Let's see what blending needs to happen here. I always like to make sure the corners right here. Need a little more. Um, okay, so here's what we have so far on this side. 
Um, I need to blend just a little bit more here. You can see it in my hairline. And then here's my the rest of my skin. So let's grab the cashmere back out. And I'm going to add just a little bit up here. Almost in my hair. Okay. So that is what I do for um, the basic for the face. And I'm going to do another video here in a second and show you... Um, brows and some eyeshadows. So again, here's another look. All right. Bye guys.